Have you ever found yourself stuck in the middle of a conversation, feeling like you've backed yourself into a corner with nothing left to say? And then you just sit there in awkward silence, trying to think of something while it feels like everyone can hear your thoughts? Most likely, yes. I used to have really bad anxiety, and these situations would drive me crazy. So I decided to find three ways to get out of these awkward moments. Today, I want to share them with you and show how they work when I'm meeting new people or trying to make a conversation more light and fun. And yes, sometimes there's just nothing you can do to fix it. And that's okay. I think we all know that feeling. You arrive at a new job or an unfamiliar party and end up one-on-one -on -one with someone you barely know. You exchange greetings. And then what? Before I tried anything else, I focused on getting comfortable with the awkward silence. And slowly, I managed to do it because I realized silence won't kill me. The first tip is active listening. But how and why does it work? Why not prevent the conversation from getting boring before it even starts? When I started listening to people with genuine interest, I noticed that my brain automatically began to generate questions but what does this look like in practice? For example, I went hiking in the mountains last weekend. When I was genuinely engaged and curious, statements like that sparked all kinds of questions. Did you go alone? What interesting things did you see there? Can you show me any photos or videos? Was it tough? Do you go hiking often? So, does that mean the secret to good conversation is hiking? Yes and no. If I didn't show interest in people, and their stories, or wasn't eager to learn something new, our conversations would be as dry as the air in the Sahara Desert, and I probably wouldn't have made many friends. I didn't waste time overthinking what I should do. I just did things I enjoyed, whether it was cars, sports, hiking, or learning about psychology. Of course, there's nothing wrong with doing things that many people like, but sometimes, when something truly resonated with me, I followed that too. What am I trying to say? To make conversations more fun and interesting, I developed my personality through my interests. Exactly. Now, I have a curious question for you. What do you think qualifies as a stupid question? Was it the one I just asked or maybe one I asked earlier? Personally, I believe that as long as you're genuinely curious about something and ask it respectfully, you're simply seeking to learn more. And in that case, no question is stupid because you're brave and humble enough to want to know more. How can wanting to learn be stupid? Of course, we can ask silly questions for fun, but that's a different topic. Sometimes, when a conversation starts to die down, I'll ask something like, how tall are you? Or, do you mow your lawn? Out of pure curiosity. These questions might seem a little strange, but nine times out of 10, people are happy to answer, especially when it's about themselves. And most of the time, these questions take the conversation in unexpected directions and almost always lead to fun, interesting topics. This is important because it helps me paint a better picture of the person and allows the conversation to flow naturally, helping me get to know them better. For example, I might find out they love basketball or that they've never actually used a lawnmower before. Who knows? But there's one more important thing I need to talk about. I realized that sometimes, no matter what I do, the conversation just won't work. Why? Well, it's as simple as accepting that not everyone is a great conversationalist, and sometimes they're just not interested in talking. I've learned that it's okay to let go when needed. It could be an uninterested date or someone I just didn't click with at a party, and that's fine. It's not as big of a deal as I once thought. There's no point in watering a dead plant, as I used to remind myself, and that worked for me. If you enjoyed watching this video, then give it a like.